I am Dr. Vinod Durandar, now on Sifi.com. Sir, what according to you is the main cause of the rising cases of obesity today? Ah, it is simply calories in and calories out. These days, more and more people are eating food which is rich in calories. At the same time, the exercise is less, they work less, and they have food which is rich in calories, which makes them put on weight. When they start putting on weight, there's no end to it. And then they don't do any exercise or anything and keep on putting on weight till they find that they got to do something for that. Please tell us about your systematic and safe method to lose weight. Yeah, systematic method is to eat less than what you require. That is number one. And that too, don't do any exercise or anything which will be damaging to your body. That's the main thing. So you have to be careful when you, what you do and to what extent you do. If you starve yourself of proteins, it is bad. You are not going to lose fat, you are going to lose proteins and ultimately you will be taken ill. That's it. So what is the difference between being overweight and being obese? Being overweight and ob obese means the amount of fat is more. A person who is overweight need not be obese or need not be fat. Supposing a person who is very muscular, he could be overweight compared to his height and weight, but he won't be uh, uh, classified as obese. Obesity is when your fat percentage is very high, then only you are supposed to be obese. But a person who is just overweight, because of his muscles, he can't be classed as obese. What steps could be taken by parents to prevent child obesity? Parents, right from childhood, they go on indulging in food and give the, their children food which is high in calories. They feel that they are being good to them and actually they are doing disservice to the children because they go on putting on weight. I can tell you, an example of a girl of seven and a half who was doing really well. But the parents complained to me that whenever we go out to eat or something, she refuses to eat what she is not supposed to, what I advise not to. So that becomes awkward for us that we can't eat what she is not going to eat. So you have to tell her that eat what we ask her to. I say, how can I? If she has to reduce weight, she has to eat whatever she has been advised. Just for your convenience, you can't give her anything. But the parents behave in peculiar manner like this. They are trying their, that their ch uh, child should reduce weight. At the same time, they are doing disservice to the child by asking the child to eat what they eat, which is wrong. <laughs> <laughs>